Dabro Pajalwet. In this video, we're going to solve this math Olympiad question. This question looks a bit weird and complicated. How, how should we do it? How can we solve this question? So, one smart way to get around this crazy question is you have to let, you have to assume or suppose that this whole equation is equal to x. So, we're going to let, let that this whole equation that is 15 over 2 plus again the same thing 15 over 2 plus again the same thing 15 over 2 plus and so on it continues is equal to x so we're going to let this as equal to x now if you can see 15 over 2 plus it's again repeating it's recurring 15 plus 15 over 2 plus and again it's recurring 15 over 2 plus so from this you can see that x is equal to 15 over 2 plus see you're having again the recurring thing 15 over 2 plus 15 over 2 plus and so on so that's equal to x what we have assumed x is equal to 15 over 2 plus x now it has become very easy for you to solve what we can do is cross multiply just cross multiply things so you're going to get x into x x squared plus 2 into x 2x is equal to 15 now we're going to solve this so how are we going to solve that x squared plus 2x bring 15 this side so that's negative 15 equals to 0 now we have to factorize it how can we factorize you your product should be negative 15 x squared and your sum should be plus 2x so what are the factors of 15 that will give you sum as 2x 5 and 3 5 times 3 is 15 and 5 minus 3 is 2. So you can write it as x squared plus 5x minus 3x minus 15 is equal to 0. <clears throat> now what we can do? We can just take x common from the first two terms. Now the rules of factorization say is that if you can split the terms, yes. Or you can find a greatest common factor from the equation or you find any identity or you use product sum rule or completing the factor all those rules so we can split the term yes and then we can find the common factor from those two splitted terms so let's see so here we need to find x is common so we're going to take x out and we have x plus 5 from here, we're going to take minus 3 out and we're left with x plus 5. Why x plus 5? Because minus into plus should give you minus 15 back. Yes, that's equal to 0. So you have x minus 3 times x plus 5 equals to 0. So x minus 3 is equal to 0 is one solution and x plus 5 is equal to 0 is one solution so what are the values of x x is equal to plus 3 comma negative 5 so here in our choices we have 1 2 3 and 5 we don't have negative 5 so we're going to choose option c that's right so if you have any suggestions, you can write it in the comment box. Hope this is useful. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Take care.